What if I told you, you could now unlock a full-blown AI agent that can do whatever you ask it to do. From filling out forms, navigating websites, running code, scraping data, to executing complex multi-step workflows and even connecting with MCP clients all with plain language. Well, that's exactly what today's tool can do. And to be honest, this is what I would call a proper AI agent that can get things done. Well, I'm talking about Retriever AI and trust me, you'll be blown away by what this tool can do. And the recent update makes it even better and powerful at everything. And the best part, you can use it on Chrome, Cloud and now even on WhatsApp. It's not just yet another chatbot or AI agent. It's like having a digital employee that works inside your browser, automating all those repetitive and boring tasks. And in this video, I'll show you what exactly is Retriever AI, what it can do, and also explore some real world use cases that will blow your mind. So let's get started. So this right here is the official website of Retriever AI. And if you do want to access the same, all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to retriever.ai and you can go ahead and sign up for a new account. And as you can see, it says retrieve research, robotize the web. And there's a lot of things that this AI agent can do. And now in my case, I have already set up an account and I even added the Chrome extension. So you can click on this link right here that says extension. And all you have to do is to go ahead and install this Chrome extension and add the same to Chrome. And in my case, I have already added the same. Maybe I can open a new tab. There you go. Here I have uh, opened up the retriever extension. And again, if you want to use it on the web, well, you can click on this cloud icon right here and it will open up the cloud interface of Retriever AI as well. And now for using Retriever, you have three options. If you want to, you can use it via this extension right here or you can access it via their uh, cloud version. Or if you want to, you can even go ahead and access the same on WhatsApp as well, which I'll show you later in this video. And now just, just to show you what this uh, AI agent is capable of, maybe I'll start with the cloud version and then I'll show you the Chrome extension, the MCP support. And finally, I'll also show you how to use the same on WhatsApp. So as you can see in the cloud version, here towards the center, we can find our input box. And now all you have to do is to give a prompt as to what you want the AI agent to do and hit enter. And it will do all the stuff that you asked for on behalf of you. It could be any complex multi-step workflow and Retriever AI agent is intelligent enough to understand every step of it and execute everything all by itself without you having to do anything. And just as to show you a demo, I'll give a prompt something like this. Go to ycombinator.com slash companies and filter for summer 2025 batch and keep scrolling till all companies are loaded and then extract two sheets for each company listed, the name, location, tagline, industries and URL. So basically it is a task that I'm giving to Retriever asking it to go to a particular web page, scroll to the entire page, find the relevant details that I asked for, then open Google Docs or Google Sheets and create a new sheet and create all these columns and populate all the relevant data like name, location, tagline, industries and URL. And this is like a fairly complex and multi-step workflow, right? And now here I have the prompt. And if you want to, you can select flashlight, flash or pro the model. In this case, I'll keep it flash. And if you want to, you can add a custom proxy, but in this case, I'll keep it as default. And yeah, that's it. And now I'll click on the send button. As soon as I give this prompt and hit enter, retriever will get to work and it will open the website address that we gave and do all the actions that we asked for and come back with the output. So in this case, we asked it to create a Google sheet with all the relevant data like name, tagline, etc. right? Let's wait for it. And in this case, we actually gave that particular prompt in the web version, that is the cloud version. But if you want to, you can give that prompt in this uh, Chrome extension as well. Both way it will work. Or you can even send that in WhatsApp as well, which will also work. In which case, let's wait for it. All right. So there you go. The execution is now complete. And here I can already find the Google Sheet with all the info that I asked for. So here we have the source website, then the name, location, tagline, industries and URL like pretty much all the information that we asked for is in here and maybe I can open it up in a new tab. And this right here is a Google sheet that the AI has created in my account, which has all the details that I asked for. It has actually created the sheet, created all these columns and populated all the data. All right. So if I was about to manually do this, it will easily take me at least an hour. And that is exactly what I was able to automate in less than 
one or two minutes okay so that is one use case and now if you want the ai agent to do something based on this data right here well you can go ahead and give follow up prompts and ask the ai agent to do anything or if you want to let's say ask the ai agent to do something else well you can click on this new chat option right here and again go ahead and give like a prompt and if you scroll down you'll be able to find a couple of these quick start prompts like completed product and pricing analysis then we have lead generation brand mention monitoring at scale bulk website categorization so you get the point right basically you can give a prompt in this cloud version right here hit enter and the ai will do it for you and now another cool thing is that retriever can take complete control of your browser and do anything that you would probably do manually for example i can visit let's say linkedin.com you don't even have to do that in the first place you can just give a prompt and it should be good to go any which ways i'll just go ahead and open linkedin and i will give a prompt something like this can you please go to my linkedin profile and post a post discussing about the future of ai in 2026 i'm just asking the ai to open my linkedin profile and post a post about the future of ai well here i have opened up linkedin in ways and now all i have to do is to click on the send button right here there you go and it says analyzing your product and by the way i'm not doing anything my hands are free so all the actions that you see on the screen like you know scrolling the page navigating around everything is actually done by retriever itself and there you go it has now clicked on the post option and it opened up the pop-up and now the ai agent will go ahead and prepare the content and paste the same in this pop-up in the text field and post it on behalf of me let's see all right so there you go as you can see the ai has actually filled in all the content like it has wrote like a hundred words long post all right so it says the future of ai in 2026 is poised to be transformative we can expect to see a lot of content there you go it is now posted post successful and if i click on this view post button right here there you go here we have the content posted and as you saw the ai was able to open my linkedin profile navigate around find the post option write the content and post it on behalf of me right and next up one of the coolest new feature of retriever that i like the most is this mcp support for example if i open the uh, web browser and if i click on this option here that says mcp url as you can see it says copied and now you can open pretty much any mcp client for example let's say cloud okay let me wait for it so there you go here i have opened up cloud and after that if i click on this option and if i click on add connectors i'm now able to add retriever as a connector to cloud for example i can click on this add custom a connector option paste the url that i copied from retriever and add the same so in this case i have already added the same and as you can see here we have it and now if i head back and if i try to create a new chat now the thing is that i can directly interact with cloud and behind the scenes cloud will use retriever to do whatever stuff that i asked for okay now you can go ahead and give a prompt in here and you're directly interacting with cloud but cloud behind the scenes will use retriever to do whatever stuff that you want to and just to show you what this is capable of doing i'll also show you one more interesting feature and i'll club together and show you that so basically retriever is now able to run javascript code for you so almost all chromium browsers comes with a sandbox environment well if you want to run a piece of code well you can give the code to retriever ai and ask it to run but in this case what i'm going to do is that i'll go ahead and give that prompt to cloud and i'll ask cloud to use the retriever mcp that we added right now and we will ask cloud to do everything and now i'll go ahead and give a prompt something like this please run the following javascript code using a javascript execution tool in retriever mcp okay there you go and now all i have to do is to give this particular piece of code and now just as to show you a demo what it is possible here i'm giving a code that fetches some dummy data from a json placeholder website and then it will just you know uh, open up a alert box with all these details so basically we are doing a simple api fetch and displaying the data and now as you can see if i click on this option here we already have retriever added and these are all the tools that are available and now model looks good i'll click on the send button maybe i can close this one and let's see what happens so it says i'll execute this javascript code for you using the retriever mcp execute javascript tool and i can find the snippet of the code that the ai is trying to run and now i'll click on allow once and the expected outcome is that it will now open up a browser alert pop-up with some dummy data fetched from the api that we mentioned so let's see so there you go as you can see retriever has run exactly what we asked for like the piece of code that we passed and here we have the dummy data in this browser uh, alert pop-up box 
and in a similar fashion you could go ahead and give any prompt to run a particular piece of code and hit enter and the ai agent will do it so in this particular piece of code all we were doing is that we were making a call to a public api and fetching some dummy user content and i asked the ai to like display the same in a alert pop-up box and here we have it okay and now i can close this one and next up i'll go ahead and open a new chat and this time around maybe i'll go ahead and open amazon and search for a keyword something like mirrorless camera and after that i can head back to cloud and i'll give this particular prompt right here and it says can you please refer to the amazon tab that we have opened up and use retrievers ai's mcp tool to go through the website and find the best camera that is value for money and now i'll click on the send button and there you go i'll click on allow once and now in this case i'm actually giving this particular prompt right within cloud and cloud will use retriever under the hood but if you want to directly use retriever well, you can open the extension and then give the exact same prompt in here and retriever can directly do it as well. Any which choice, there you go. It is perfect. I can see there's an Amazon tab open with a search for mirrorless camera. Okay, I'll click on allow once. And now basically what happens is that retriever will go through the entire content, like all the listing in this particular page. As you can see, it is actually scrolling down and finding all these uh, listing. It will compare all the features, the pricing and find the best camera that is value for money in which case let's wait and there you go here we have all this information and cloud has found out that best value pick is the sony alpha zv eton l okay and here we have all these reasons and also why this is the best value for the money okay so basically it went through all the listing in this particular page and found the best one that is value for money and there you go Next step, I can open Retriever and I can give a prompt something like this that says, can you please pull the top five stocks for the day and create a Google sheet with the company details. And I also mentioned it is for the US stock market. And now I can click on send. And basically I want the AI to find the top five trending stocks for the day and then create a Google sheet with all the data. So let's wait for it. All right. So Retriever is now using Yahoo Finance to find details about the top five uh, stocks for the day. All right. So let's wait for it. There you go. It has went ahead and created a Google sheet exactly what we asked for. So here I can find the price, the symbol change, change percentage and also the company name. Okay. And maybe, okay, I'll just cancel it for the time being. And now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and say, can you please find the uh, official website of all these companies listed in this particular sheet and create a new column called this website and fill in all the official website links. And now I'll click on the send button again. All right. So it has opened up the official websites and it is going through the content to make sure it is indeed the official website. Okay. It is automatically closing them as well. And now it will populate the same in the Google sheet. Let's see. There you go. As you can see the AI went ahead and populated all these websites in here. Okay. So that part is also complete. And next up yet another cool thing is that if you do something frequently like very frequently every day or multiple times every day whatever actions that you do once you can go ahead and save it as a command for example if you click on this particular button that says create shortcut for this task to rerun and if i click on the same and i can go ahead and let's say find uh, websites and then i can create a shortcut and next time onwards for example let's say i can remove this if i need to and next time onwards all i have to do is to simply type slash and i can now find the shortcut that i created just now which is find websites and i can just go ahead and do that like select the same and now it will automatically go ahead and perform whatever data so basically you can create shortcuts for things that you do frequently and you can just put the slash simple type select the same and then retriever will automatically do it for you so that's basically the idea so i can cancel the same Next up, yet another cool thing right within Retriever is the ability for you to teach it something. For example, let's say you want to perform some sort of complex workflow. Well, you can click on this particular button that says teach a trick and you can perform the same and you can teach the AI agent to do something. Okay. And after that, once you teach it, you can go ahead and ask the AI agent to do it autonomously. And from here on, the AI agent will be able to perform it. So that's also one more cool option that you have. And next up, I'll also show you how we can use Retriever right within WhatsApp as well. So if you head over to Retriever's official website, towards the top, you will find a button that says WhatsApp. And if I click on the same, all you have to do is to input your number in here and click on this link WhatsApp button right here. All right. And once that's linked, you can open the chat and you can give any prompt directly within WhatsApp. So in this case, I just went ahead and asked the AI. So I just went ahead and sent a WhatsApp message saying, can you please extract the top 10 companies from this particular link? So basically here we have 
let's see doordash coinbase airbnb oklo so these are the sites that we have or let's say companies that we have and i just went ahead and asked to extract top 10 companies i just sent a whatsapp message and there you go here we have the output so the output is same doordash coinbase airbnb oklo which is exactly what i can see in here okay so i can use retriever right within whatsapp as well and one more cool feature right within retriever is that you can also add third party or let's say external mcp tools to retriever and retriever can use that mcp tool to do things as well for example if i click on this particular button here i have an option that says mcp tools i can click on the plus button and i can add and connect an mcp tool in here as well so that's also one more option that you have right within retriever and this is pretty much everything that i wanted to show you in today's video and if you do want to use retriever all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below head over to retriever.ai you can sign up for a new account and start using the same it is available on the web in cloud the extension and also whatsapp as well so yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in today's video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.